Hi folks and welcome to the first of many planned Adobe in 15 minute sessions for busy teachers. Welcome Erin. Thanks Tim. The aim of these sessions is to provide some practical ways for teachers and students to use their access to Adobe to help the teaching and learning process in any curriculum area. Let's start this session properly with an acknowledgement of country. We respect and honour all Indigenous people from the lands we reach out to during this event. We acknowledge their stories, traditions and living cultures. We acknowledge them as the first educators and the first creatives. And we commit to building a brighter future together. The focus of this session is infographics in any subject area with Adobe Express. Over to you, Tim. Thanks, Erin. The key initial step with Adobe Express is to log in via express.adobe.com via any browser. There are other ways of getting access, but this is probably the simplest. Once you've logged in, to get access to the premium version of Adobe Express, please encourage your colleagues and your students to always log in with the appropriate school account. Don't log in with Google. Don't log in with Apple. Use your school account. And That's the EDU email address, right, Tim? Well, it kind of depends on the different systems. Like yeah. in Victoria, it's their EduPass. In New South Wales, it's slightly different with their government schools. But just check with your school, check with your teacher to make sure you're logging in with the correct account so that you get access to the premium version. This clip explains more. Once you've typed in express.adobe.com into the address bar of your browser, you'll see this login page. Please make sure you log in with your school account. Now, ignore all the other ways of logging in and make sure it is just with your school account. Now, if you're a Victorian Department of Education and Training student or teacher, please use your EduPass system, which is very likely to be different to other ways that you log into other software. Check your teacher for your EduPass system. If you're a New South Wales Department of Education and student or teacher, you'll have another way of getting into the system. Just please check with your school, check with your teachers that you're logging in with the correct way so that you get full access to the premium version of Adobe Express. Well, when you have been successful in logging in, have a look at the amazing quick actions that are available right on the dashboard. And if I just jump in, I've already logged in myself here and you can see I'm on my dashboard and you can, you can see all my projects will be available if I hit the projects button but I love these quick actions. And you can see all the quick actions when you click the plus symbol on the top left-hand corner, and then you can see mm -hmm. them all sitting there. The one I wanna quickly show you now is this, it's one of my favorites. It's removing the background of an image. So if I go to remove so background, good. and then I'm gonna quickly grab an image. I think I've done this demo once or twice before to uh, teachers, possibly even at the um, Inject Creativity live show, but it's worth showing. Mm -hmm. This particular this particular image, if I open it up in preview, you'll be able mm -hmm. to see that it has quite a complicated background. There's a bridge. Mm. There's a whole lot of different trees and branches and different shades of green. So it's gonna be quite interesting. If I use the sample image and drag that up, that's a neutral background, that's too easy. So let's go ahead yeah. and grab this image here and just drag it where it says drag and drop the image. And now mm -hmm. without touching anything, it's using artificial intelligence, a bit of Adobe mm -hmm. Sensei, and all of the background is being identified. And in three, two, one, bang, there we go. All the background's gone and I can download that as a PNG file with a transparent background. So that's just one of many quick actions that are available. And uh, yeah, what, what do you think of that, Erin? I think it's fantastic. The background removal has come along in leaps and bounds since it was first introduced as a beta within Adobe Express. So I have a play with it in some of my own videos as well, Tim. So let's get stuck into creating an infographic based on a template. So this clip goes through the process. We're going to look at part of the graphic design side of Adobe Express, and I've provided you with a template based on part of an infographic that we're going to complete and keep working with. The template is available at tinyurl.com slash skills template one. If your school doesn't allow you to access tiny or short URLs, the full URL is available in the comments section of this webinar. All right, I'm typing in the tiny URL into the address bar, clicking enter. 
And here we have the template. Now, whenever you see an Adobe Express template, down the bottom is the remix this design section. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that button, remix this design. This will take this template into an editable version within Adobe Express. Now you can see the template has arrived and we can see this particular infographic is about skills to help you thrive in the future. This is based on some research from the World Economic Forum and they suggest that uh, the top most important skills to thrive in the future are problem solving, active listening, critical thinking, collaboration, emotional intelligence, but there's one that's missing. It's been in the top five most important skills to thrive for many, many years, and that is creativity. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the word creativity into the center, uh, which I believe creativity kind of links to all of those skills in a way. So if I wanna get the word creativity in there, I'm gonna take my cursor over to the left-hand side and activate the text option. And I've got a few ways I could bring in some of the templated text, but in this case, I just wanna to go to add your text and literally type in the word creativity and you'll notice it automatically matches the font that is in the template and I can then click and drag and move it into the center circle and even just angle it slightly so it matches the, the current angle within this, the, the oval shape that's in there. So that's looking pretty good and I'm happy with that. So that's going into text add your text or using a template. And once you're in text mode, you'll notice on the right hand side, there's a whole series of tools here that allow you to manipulate text, add shapes, shadows, outlines, and even go with some recommended other fonts if you'd like to. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add some more imagery. When we're working with infographics, it's really important to bring in shapes and images and photos to explain what the concept is that you are working on. So I'm going to go and look for a, a shape that represents problem solving. And if I go over from my text tool, pass the photos tool into the shapes tool, click on shapes, and then we can do a search for a shape. So I'm going to go to the search engine here and type in problem solving. And when I click enter, we'll see how many shapes there are that represent problem solving. 839 of them, and you can see there's a whole lot there. Let's just choose any one of them. Uh, I quite like this one, so I'm gonna click on this one. Once you've clicked on a shape, just be patient, give it a couple of seconds, and then that shape will enter the artboard or the stage. And when it's there, you can then scale it using the little scaling handles on the corners of the shape, and then just position it where you'd like it to appear. You can also go to the right hand side and change the color of the shape. You can work with the color scheme that's already existing or you can change it to a different color. So I'm quite happy with the red there. So that shape represents problem solving. And then I can repeat that process for different shapes for emotion intelligence, for active listening and so on. Um, I think at this stage now I want to grab a photo and I want to bring the photo in and the photo is going to represent creativity and I'll bring it into the bottom left hand corner. So to do photos you can go below the text tool into the photos tool and notice that you can upload any photo that you've got on your device which is great or you can go searching for photos and this will search into Adobe stock which is millions and millions of royalty free assets that you have access to that you can use and you can publish unlike when you go to Google images most of those images are copyrighted so this is a great way of, of grabbing images for any project in any area let me do a search for creativity oh there are nearly two million photos that come up with creativity. Notice the little black crowns that appear on some of them, that's fine because if you've logged in correctly into the premium version, you get access to so many images. If you've got a gold crown at all, that means you probably haven't logged in correctly because they're images that need to be licensed, you'll need to pay for them. So avoid the gold crowns or just make sure you have logged in with your school account and then you'll get access to so many amazing resources through Adobe Stock. If there's no crown, that's fine, that's totally royalty free. So I'm just gonna click on this top one here, and as you click the image, it will appear on the stage. I'm gonna close down this panel now so I can see my stage properly. And then just reposition the image 
so it's just sitting in the bottom left hand corner scale it down and with this particular image I'm going to have a bit of a go at removing the background over on the right hand side there's a button here that says remove background as I click that button some artificial intelligence is being applied and it's thinking about what's the most important part of the image and what is the background and it's going to do the job for me there we go it's it's done a pretty good job with that and if I'm happy with it I can click the tick box up here at the top right hand corner. If I'm not happy I can always go and fine tune the erasing options and just go ahead and erase more sections if I wanted to. Uh, in this case I'm pretty happy with it so I'll undo that and I'm going to click the tick box. So now I've got this image that represents creativity and I'll just position it right in the bottom left hand corner. So we've looked at text, we've looked at photos, we've looked at shapes. There are other elements that you can play with and work with in Adobe Express to build an infographic, but that's the basics. So now we're ready to actually download. On the top right hand corner, you can see we've got an option here to download and we can download this as a PNG file, as a PNG with a transparent background as a JPEG, which is great if you're going to be sharing it online, or even as a PDF document too. And if I go ahead and click Start Download as a PNG, then that PNG still image will go into my Downloads folder for me to retrieve later. Now, let's go to another level on this, and we're going to turn it into an animated infographic. To do that, I'm just going to click away from anything that's selected, and as we go to the right hand side there is a button here that says animation. As soon as we activate that button we can choose to animate the text or we can animate the photo. So I'm going to start by animating the text by choosing the typewriter option and now it's turning itself into a short little video. And if I go to the download folder at the top right hand corner you'll notice there's a new format here to download as an mp4 video file at 720p and if I go ahead and click start download it's now going to create a video file that's going to be in my downloads folder ready for me to retrieve later. So there's a wonderful way of creating a still image infographic but even then turn it into a short little video. Hope you've enjoyed this. Now, if you look up adobe.ly forward slash express dash APAC, you can get more information about Adobe Express and what you can achieve with it. And if you look up adobe.ly slash AC dash projects, you can get project and lesson ideas from the Adobe Education Exchange that are linked to the Australian curriculum. tinyurl.com forward slash edX dash PL takes you to the on-demand courses that are available in the Adobe Education Exchange. These include a wonderful 30-minute self-placed course titled Infographics with Adobe Express. Look up adobe.ly slash edu events for a set of new webinars we are planning for February and March 2023. And look up bit.ly forward slash adobe dash feedback dash edu to give us some feedback on this session and give yourself a PL certificate. Thanks for watching this session. We do hope that you found it helpful. And I'm going to encourage you to keep being creative. All the best. Bye-bye.